Stop by to interact with the community and I every Friday night at 8 o'clock for live stream Fridays. Welcome trolls. <laughs>thanks a lot for subscribing for stopping by we're just checking out this beautiful research that i'm doing in space absolutely incredible a flyby asteroid 4388 jurgensock is supposed to fly by um look at this moments before i captured i think the actual asteroid look at this light either four objects or what one object and if it is well three triangular shaped formation of lights and in the center a streak what a giant craft or crafts in formation or just debris flying by at the same time just amazing and if, you know either way it's just beautiful either way i'm not trying to bribe anyone of anything that's what i caught and it's pretty awesome and listen these go by in one frame my friends so uh, well actually hang on i caught something amazing a couple of frames um, a comet, I think, between Orion, just on the top corner of the frame of this image. Um, there's so much I want to show you. We'll get into this first. So let's take a look at it. Just, yeah, amazing. Three lights and in the center, um, a center light. Could it be a craft? Uh, it's pretty, pretty darn interesting. This object passed by less than a minute before I caught an, a, a flyby. And why am I saying it's, here it is. Why am I saying this is asteroid 4388? Because at 927, I believe, um, they said that it was supposed to pass by. And that's the exact time that I caught it. I filmed from 730 to 11 o'clock. Emptied my, and drained my infrared batteries. But it was well worth it. This is an object spiraling towards um serious star binary system so in the exact time that they say an asteroid was supposed to pass by but moments before the, that spotted flash of light with all those points and um as we look at it here in different um in slow motion we'll slow it down a bit more for you to take a real look at it because this is an interesting asteroid that everyone's talking about so i set up the telescope in back and i said to myself approaching eight or nine o'clock i'll get the infrared camera out in front to see if i can get any flybys or anything happening i stayed out far enough tried to just to get in focus now again we're looking at an infrared image when you get this there's artificial light here by the way do you see the yellow color in this image infrared footage is very grainy and white it's not like a hollywood movie it's very scientific if you want but Look here, you can see uh, the infrared light. You can see the energy that's exerting from this thing. So we're seeing it entering and exiting. But entering and exiting what? Why did it flame up? Well, it's touching oxygen, that's for sure. It's probably flying by Earth very close and was flaming up, right? If it would have been smaller and slower, it would have been pulled down to the surface of Earth. And that's what's interesting. That's what happens with asteroids they're just just studying now nasa um about those uh, asteroids where they're coming from for whatever the reason they want to know that um i think you know well, i'm not going to say what i think because they've already said it damn it but anyways they're talking about comets i guess it could be um i i guess it would be slivers leaving those things right i mean obviously an asteroid then it would go around some other celestial object and be pulled down. Well, by looking at these through a couple of just different filters, color filters, <laughs> whew, I said filter, because I want to see what's going on around it, what's being exerted from it. Did you just see that? Top right, uh, again, did you see that or that? Let's go see it in slow detail. You just saw three times in a row this flash up here on the corner. And that would be just in the bottom of Orion constellation. Check it out. 
Why do you see it cut off there? It's because it's the frame I'm moving out for you guys because it was literally in the corner frame of my image. But wow, <laughs> I think that corner frame shot was one of my best ones. It's one of the ones that excited me the most. It looks like something I've never seen before. Why am I saying comet? They say that, you know, comets have tail ends um, over that. Hmm, I don't know. But that this was all captured, guys, in the period of maybe four minutes, okay? Well, I filmed it for four hours, but it all occurred at the same time, all the events. So now I'm going to leave you guys with, again, many flashes of lights that I'm seeing. You know, guys, I, I really do think this is UFO propulsion that we are seeing those little lights around it. They're red, bright, vivid bright, um, sorry, red and yellow flashes. And they're very vivid. They're very bright. And they're um, appearing around certain celestial objects and I'm not seeing them um, anywhere else so far around the moon. And I'm seeing them around Sirius now. And this was, again, moments before or during that asteroid flyby. This is exactly between nine and 10 o'clock that we're looking at this. So. With the telescope, I did not capture it, but I, ca I caught it with the infrared. So you can imagine how fast it was. By the time I'm panning my telescope over to realign this, well, you can be sure that I probably would have missed it. But luckily, got it with the infrared camera, guys. I got some footage of the moon last night also. Haven't even had a chance to make a video and get it up. So while you guys are watching this, I'm doing that right now for you guys.
supposed to be a conjunction between Mars and Venus the week of February 19th, and that's right now. We're right into that. So we'll be checking for that too. Tonight at 6 o'clock on my end, that's when it's supposed to fly by. We're talking about an object that's supposed to be going at very fast speeds, of course. Another asteroid, I don't know if it's an airplane-sized asteroid, is supposed to pass between Earth and the Moon tonight at 6 o'clock, February 19th, 2019. You can be sure as heck I'll be outside trying to get that lined up with the P900. This uh, star that you're seeing was taken um, very cold weather. It was almost minus 19 degrees Celsius. Thank you.